Hello and welcome to the Voodoo Free Video for Friday, September 20th. This is David, and let's take a look at the S&P 500 going into next week. Seasonally, we know that the week after options expiration for, um, for September can be a rough week for markets. And I want to talk through that from a Voodoo Lines roadmap perspective. So, um, not too far below us is the is a voodoo snow line right and i'm going to treat that as an important over under level heading into next week so you know as we continue up from uh more important voodoo lines like this voodoo uh tree line that we visited in early august and quickly recovered right um we're we're pushing upwards away from that and so long as we stay above both snow lines it it leaves uh room to the upside to keep working up towards the next destination in that roadmap this 59 25 voodoo fire line level the most important of our voodoo line levels so um so how do we figure out if we're going to continue up directly or if the latter part of September and even part of October is going to send us back down? Well, look, um, we could just stop and say, hey, look, uh, from a voodoo roadmap perspective, if we break this 56, 57 snow line level, it leaves room for more downside and leave it at that. But there is more to the story, right? Generally, when we're in an uptrend, and we have to presume that this is still an uptrend until we see trend-like action uh, going the other way. After all, as recently as yesterday, we made fresh new all-time highs. Um, but generally, when we're uh, retracing or when we're pulling back, getting a counter trend move, which I'm going to presume the move from yesterday is for the moment, we're retracing something. So it could be that we're just retracing this move up from Wednesday's low uh, after the FOMC um, into yesterday's high, or maybe we're retracing something bigger, like the entirety of the leg up from, uh, from September 6th maybe even a portion of what we were um what what we've gained since august so um so certainly if we're only partially retracing the move from um from wednesday's low then we can measure that retracement and look for fibonacci proportions to the move up and we can see that the important 61.8% retrace comes in pretty much right at that, um, that snow line level. We can also recognize that these moves down, um, if they are only counter trend, right, often the legs to the downside are going to be very similar in size. So if we take the move down from yesterday's high, into today's low and um and measure it and project down from the afternoon recovery high we can also notice that again right at that same spot is where these two legs to the downside would have uh symmetry so um look could we go a little bit below this level and quickly recover and still view this as a counter trend move we can but um but that doesn't diminish its importance as an over under recognizing that if and when it does come back above so long as it doesn't go too far uh below first that this would still just be a counter trend move so whether it's up directly um or down a bit more first. So, so long as we uh, hold or roughly hold this snow line level um, based on the longer term roadmaps being, uh, you know, being uh, in an uptrend from the voodoo tree line visited back uh, in early August, or even if we zoom out more to, um, to view that we're also still in an uptrend 
from the Voodoo Fire Line that we visited at the end of October. We're still in bullish roadmaps at multiple different degrees. Um, at small degree, we might be looking towards the downside if we break the um, the 5657 snow line. But um, as long as that pullback ends up eventually finding support somewhere above the 5490 snow line below it, it keeps that um, it it keeps that larger uptrend intact. So that's what I'll be watching heading into next week. We can dig into a little bit more of this um, and what I think we're likely to see in the premium video, as well as take a look at some upside targets in gold. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but uh, for the free video, we'll wrap it up now and I will see you at the next update. Hey, David here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please help us out. Click the like button. You can also add your comments below. We love to read those and respond to them. You can also click the bell icon. That will alert you whenever we have new and updated videos. And if you want to watch us trade in real time with our own money, you can visit simplertrading.com to learn how to sign up. Until I see you again, as always, good trading, and we'll see you at the next video.